Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to revisit how we can, uh, you know, perform web penetration testing or web application security assessment on a real life website. Now, this is an OWASP juice shop we have with us today, which we are going to test. Now, whenever you're trying to learn how to do a pen test to a web application or any application, make sure that application is particularly made so that people can test on it or you have permissions before testing any website or performing any security assessment on them. Now, starting with today's video, first we are going to make sure what all a real life professional looks into before starting a web app penetration testing. Now, me as a professional would usually get a, a walkthrough of the UI of an application from the client or from the application team. Apart from that, we also try to understand what all functionalities are really important for the application or the company. Are there any finance related transactions that are going to happen on that website, etc, etc. We also ask them what technologies they are using, what is the architectural background of this application. We get each and every detail we can get from them. And then with the perfect approvals from the stakeholders, we start the penetration testing. Now, this application OVAS Juice Shop is a free website and is particularly made so that you can solve these different challenges that are there and you can learn how to do PT. Now, in the last video, I also told you about this extension retire.js. Like that, there's one more extension which will help you get all the technologies that are used in this application. So you can see this is Vapilizer. If you don't know how to, you know, install these extensions, you simply had to go to Google search, uh, download Vapilizer extension, and you can directly add it through the Chrome web store. So yeah, that's, that's very simple. And if you still don't know, you can, I will put the link above of my previous website, uh, previous video where I'm showing how to conduct WebPT. Over there, I'm explaining it in the end part. So you can look into that. All right, so let's start. Now in that last video, we've talked about a few of the vulnerabilities, but you know, in this one, I'm trying to tell you how as a professional, you will approach any website. Now, if you're trying to learn web PD, I would want you to know the professional way, the correct way to do it. So we till now discussed how we are going to gather information about the application, what all functionalities are important, etc., etc. And then we usually follow a checklist. Okay. For example, if you don't have any checklist, you can refer to this OWAS penetration test web app security uh, checklist and they have everything here category wise given. So yeah, this is the page. This is for denial of service. They are starting with application flooding, application lockout, parameter analysis, authorization, authorization parameter manipulation and so on. They have so many category wise test cases, right? So you can follow this for now and later you can actually create your own checklist as well with the help of this and other documents that are out there in the website. If you want to know how I found this checklist, just search OVASP web app checklist. All right. Uh, don't click on the GitHub link. You can refer to GitHub as well for checklist, but I'm going to go ahead with the OVASP.org one. And from there, I got this checklist. I hope that is clear too. Now, before we start the PT, uh, this is part one of the video. So in this, I want you to describe everything. And in part two, we will go with the help of this checklist. We will be looking into each one of these vulnerability. So I hope you liked today's video. See you in part two.